Once I get on set, I check in with all the leaders of the creative teams that are on set. So the camera department, lighting, art direction, hair and makeup, my assistant director, who is super important to keeping us on task and on schedule and is my right hand person. And then, um, yeah, I, you know, I do check ins. Usually things are action is happening. You know, um, everyone is doing their jobs. Everyone is setting up the lights, setting up cameras, getting crew and talent ready. And so I'm just there to kind of supervise and get a bird's eye view to make sure that if there's anything that goes wrong, I am there to offer a solution or an opinion. Um, and we, you know, it's days on set are usually very long, but they're exhilarating. To be honest, I don't think I ever sit down (laughs) on set until the very end of the day. And there's just something, you're so in the zone that sometimes I forget to eat. So it's really important to stay hydrated and eat when you're on set. Um, But directing involves keeping your eyes and your attention alert the whole entire time on the frame, on the scene, on the performances, on the story. You have to kind of in your head track everything that's happening with your actors and the performances. Is it matching to what you want, to the story that you want to tell? If it's not, what sort of notes can you get depending on the actor and how they work? Um, to sort of steer them or help guide them in the right direction. You always have to also keep an eye out just on all the other technical aspects. Um, Not saying that you have to monitor them, but you check in with your sound mixer and you check in with your DP to make sure that everything technically is going well too, so that if you need to get another take, you have that option. And then at the same time, I'm also editing the film in my head just so that I know, okay, if we don't have time for this shot, then we can move on to this shot and we'll get this part of the scene in this shot and it'll all work together because I already have a mental image that I'm trying to match. So there's a lot of sort of cognitive and physical demands of being on set, but it's also so much fun. It's it's the most fun you really have when you're making a film because you're finally there with everybody. You've come together, the money has come together, <laughs> and you're finally ready to, you know, realize your vision. As a director, you are the captain of the ship, of everything that is happening, and your sole responsibility, your biggest responsibility on set is to be the driver of the story. You're the decision maker. You want to make sure that all the story elements are being conveyed by everyone that's on set working on lighting, camera, performances, art direction, whatever it is. Um, If you are not happy with how a scene or a take happens, then you need to get another take. And no one moves on until the director says, yes, we're happy with the scene. Let's move on to the next shot or the next scene. So it's What you're looking for, and I know there are a lot of elements to manage on set, but nothing is more important than the story and the characters and what you are trying to say with your vision. At the end of the day, I usually end it with uh, some sort of creative inspiration. So I'll go to a screening of a film and, you know, just sit in a dark theater and take in beautiful resonant images. Um, I will read pages from a script. I will read a book usually a sci-fi book and last but not least I'm usually involved in some sort of networking event or meeting another filmmaker and just making those establishing those relationships and fostering them because that's really important for the film industry.